All right. Okay, so, so we've got a bunch of knobs over here. Oh, not the knobs, is in the yeah, people, but... Let's, let's make some stuff. The other one. So th- this is um, crazy. We've got a lot here. Can, how, right. how are we going to go through let me, this? Let me roll the song. First, okay, what cool. we're going to do, basically, yep. is um, we've got our drums over here. Okay. So we're going to bring up all the drums. Okay. This, this was a live session, so we had um, a, a drummer and, and tabla, and we, we just... Marshy just walked in. Hi, Marshy. Hi. How are you? Hi, I didn't get to say hi to you. Hey, guys. And how are you doing? That's, that's, uh, Marshy is amazing tabla and really good human being and really on time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> 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 and uh, they're going through a really neat time in their life as, as well. So anyways. so well done, guys. <laughs> awesome. So, okay. okay, well, that's really cool. So you're saying we've got to start with the drums. So yeah, we've got the track, and we've got the track in the in the in the system ready to go. Yeah, we recorded this a, a live session. And okay, cool. So everything should I should I roll it, Simon, and let's bring things up there. That would be cool. So for example, yeah. here we go. So this is it here. So right now we're running we're running the small kind of oh, stand, okay. I guess. Right. And once with the white. Uh, All so right. Yeah, cool. So. So we got the drum up here, the kick drum here. Yep. So now we can hear it, and what, what would you want to do? You probably want to EQ it, go in and change how you want to want it to sound. You can mess around with it. Okay. So oh, cool! Alright, uh, to change that. So you're messing with mids, highs, and lows. Yeah, whatever you want. Yeah. Okay, what I cool. what I do, I keep everything flat, really. And what does that kind of do? Why yes, do I don't want to mess with, with the kick drum too much. Just keep it simple and yeah. kind of get it happening as flat as you can. Do you flat think meaning don't. You can mess. Around. I used to mess around a lot, but not, not any, Yeah, not anymore. Yeah. It's like more okay. more of the real sound. Yeah, yeah. So maybe. That's nice. Cool. But what I would do though, um, I would have Simon here. Could you put, put me put that kick through a uh, 160 or something? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is take the kick and run it through a compressor so it becomes a bit fatter. Okay. And Simon's gonna patch it through. So that's patching through. Patching. He's gonna go out of the, the channel of the console. Okay. Into a compressor called 160 dBx, which yep. is a really amazing one. It's cheap. Mm-hmm. You can buy tons of them, <laughs> and they sound really good. So it'll show up down there if, if you go if you see that. So that's where it's patched. Oh, that's your okay. Bra here. So. You what do you control it from here? Or? So, so you know, you, you kind of make it tighter. Yeah. And you see how much you want to... That's limiting it too much, meaning it's not bumping as much. So you kind of limit it a little bit. You can turn it up or down. Mm-hmm. You can change how it sounds, sort of, by... Comer- see how that sounds? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then see how that sounds? There's a pause in the soul. But um, what radio does is, is it takes your mixes and it puts it through heavy compression. That's why radio always sounds good because radio is supposed to sound good. Um, when radio first came around, that's the whole thing. Hey, it needs to sound good. So they used to really compress it and they used to squash it, it. Squash yeah. it and make a brick out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is what radio would do to, to your stuff, but since we're in the studio so so we kind of get a little bit of cool. any relax in, <laughs> any relax in the way <laughs> like that <laughs> you remember stuff stuff well that's cool that's remember good remember stuff Eddie? do I? George Carlin stuff yeah stuff a bit of stuff from here, a bit of stuff from there. It's all stuff. And you relax in Hawaii. Relax in Hawaii. All right, then we. <laughs> you remember that now? We, we were get some at more home. Stuff. Me and Ellie were working. Yeah, you you were working. We were working on a song for for Ellie as we well. Were, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we didn't talk about that. We've got to get that going as well. We should bring that in here, actually. That song. Yeah. yeah. We're working on a pretty on cool it. song at the moment. Uh, I call it Rain. It's the title. It's going pretty well. 
But I think that's another definite, definite cool option when we're, when we're ready for that to bring that in. Because that's not completely done, so that will be... Yeah, I, th- I think you did a good job with the... Uh, uh, this is how it went down. Um, we met and we were like, we got to do this. And I, she sent me a link to, to her YouTube stuff. And I'm like, cool. We can do something there. Yeah. And I thought that we should write something really nice. Just tailor-made for her sensibility. Because she's into jazz. She's a jazz artist. Oh my, thank you. And a really good, really good attitude. She's working very hard. She was always on time. Mm. You know, it's rare for an artist. That's half of it, really. You you need the strong drive. You need to be able to push forward. Make your dreams and agendas come true. You know, I was... No, it's never ending. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it's just an awesome journey to be on, so... I'm just so lucky to have you guys here as well. It's really cool to be a part of this. And so thank you guys for making this so amazing as well for me. It's really cool. <laughs> so, so what you did? Well, you, you took the, you took the, um, you, yeah. you took the track that I did, and, and I took you, the track. And you had to listen to it. Had some awesome, like, awesome ideas and a great, great structure. But I knew that there was parts of it that I felt differently towards, and I think lyrics have a, a big say in that as well. The way lyrics work and the way you feel about. Um, the way you feel about the song and I think it's that combination of getting the right chords to suit the lyrics and the right emotion behind that and that's what changes you know the tension in something and then so I started working changed the lyrics around a bit and then added added some different chords to it and then showed you the chords and you digged and then it just kept on moving from there so it's pretty cool yeah. where it's she just going. showed me she just showed me like <laughs> what that was a preview <laughs> she yeah. just showed me like uh, chords and how she wanted to be struck for it to be structured and I sat down and built a track around it and um, just some lyrics shot it over yeah and then it's going from there which is it's good it's, it's going well it's a good journey yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna finish that one next. Definitely, that'd be great. Pretty soon, mm. next week maybe. Cool. <laughs> if you already don't do not like the song, because that's what happens with song language. They write stuff, and uh, they're really excited about it. They're like, "Hey, I wrote the greatest song in the world." <laughs> and then two days later, this song sucks. <laughs> Get rid of it, burn it. No, no, nah, it's cool. Not in this case. Not in this case. No, <laughs> this song is cool. It's gonna be good. Okay, cool deal. All right, so are we going to cut yeah, to something soon? So, uh, <coughs> well, we've got the... All right, all right, so let's cut it to another yeah. song. Yeah, good idea. More, right. more of God. Check out More of God. More of God. Done.